when it gets down to cruelty to animals uh, and the way the law reads, what's cruelty to you may not be cruelty to me. Tonight, was that beautiful pit bull being kept in a dark, dirty doghouse, which some call a large box for years before animal advocates sounded the alarm and got the media involved? Listen to this question and answer between a reporter and the woman who calls herself the dog's owner. How long would you say that she's been in that den? She may have been in that one about two and a half, three years. I didn't say anything was wrong with it. I mean, because we was out there, took it out, exercised this and that. Fed it. I mean, play with it. Three years? Really? In a glorified box? Well, after an uproar over these conditions, the precious pit bull called Lil Mama by that woman and Alice by animal advocates now lives in a chain link pen. Okay, there you see it on the right. Is that much better? My next guest says no, and he is not giving up the fight to make this one dog's life better. Now, check out this Facebook page. It's called Save Alice the Dog in a Box. Almost 2,500 people have visited. It's becoming a national movement. Joining me now, Scott Bennett, director of Southern Comfort Animal Rescue. Scott, thanks for joining us. Thank you, um, Tell us about the conditions you originally found this dog in. She was in a five by eight wooden box, uh, completely closed other than slats on the side. There was fecal matter compacted into the floor, uh, dirt floor. The stench made me sick to my stomach. Her food pan was completely buried in fecal matter. The water bucket, five gallon water bucket, had algae, thick algae built up on the sides and about two inches of the fecal matter compacted in the bottom of it. Now, uh, in the wake of the uproar, the uh, woman who you saw there, who describes herself as the owner, who was invited on the show any time to tell her side of the story, then switched out to this pen here. But the dog is still alone in this pen, and how would you describe this particular pen? Well, when we, when we applaud her improvements, uh, there's no shade for this dog other than that doghouse. When the heat hits in the summertime, this dog is going to bake. Uh, I've been out there to the property since she was moved. Every time I've been out there, the water bucket has been extremely shallow. There's been fecal matter starting to build up on the ground. And it amazes me that every time news camera goes out there, everything is straightened up and looks perfect. Well, we called the sheriff, and he insists the dog is living in good conditions. Here's what he told our HLN affiliate, WMAZ, about the dog's health. If that dog that night had been, uh, say, bones sticking out, not fed well, you know, the dog appeared to have been sick, feverish, we'd have removed the dog that night. Yeah, we're talking about one dog here, and she's symbolic, however, of what's happening all over the country. Uh, check out some of these disturbing pictures we got from PETA. I mean, so many dogs kept on chains, kept in tiny little areas. Is that part of the reason why you're fighting for this one particular dog, Scott, because she's symbolic of what happens all over the country? Yes, it is, Jenny. Uh, and we, we, we contend that if Toombs County allows this case just to be swept under the rug, everyone else that in, in that county that's, that's abusing animals is going to know that they can just simply straighten up for a little while and get away with it. And, and it's, the change has got to start somewhere. I'm Jane Velez Mitchell. Thanks for joining us. You're watching Issues.